What's up anglers and anglets, it's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're gonna do some surf fishing and I'm actually gonna do something different. I'm gonna start playing with a little bit of lures. I never really play with lures because I always use bait and weight, but wild looks really nice. Let's see if anything will go for a lure. The main goal for today is to catch at least one thing with the lure. The other goal for today is to try to do a catch and cook. I got all my catch and cook stuff. We're gonna do a nice simple recipe again. Hopefully we catch something so I can actually do the catch and cook. Well, at least catch something worth cooking. It's a beautiful day, nice and sunny, light breeze. Waves don't look like they're too rough. It does look like there's a bunch of kelp out there. If it's too kelpy, I'll swap out to bait weights. So I still got some shrimp and some squid. Let's gear up and get started. So for surf fishing, safety is pretty simple. Don't turn your back against the ocean. Make sure you keep track of all the waves because you don't know when there's a big one that's gonna come in. Waders are pretty helpful when you're surf fishing. You can get a little farther out in the surf to cast. Just make sure you don't go out too far. So only go out as far as you're comfortable. The farther you go out, the harder it is to come back in if you get swept. It's always better to be extra safe. I'm just scouting to see if there's any spots in the surf that doesn't have too much kelp. I'm gonna head over there and start casting the little jig para. Yep, just as I feared. Giant piece of kelp. All right, so this might not work. I'm getting snagged every cast. Might have to swap the bait and weights. So as far as I could tell, when I throw out the muscle, I get instantly tagged. So there might be a lot of fish that like muscle right here. Got one. Took a while. Been fishing for at least a couple hours. Let's see what we got. Nice, a barred surf perch. Man, it took a while to get you, but thanks for playing. I actually haven't caught a barred surf perch in a while. See you later, little guy. Boop. That's like the first fish in the past three hours. I've been using all sorts of different bait all day. I went from shrimp to some sand crabs because I saw some sand crabs here. But I know where they are now. I know what they're biting. If I can catch a nice eating size, that'd be perfect for the catch and cook. There we go, I think we got another one. Doesn't feel too big. I'm assuming another barred surf perch. Yep, another barred surf perch. This one's even dinkier. We're finally catching fish. Barely lipped them too. Finally found the fish. Let's see how many we can catch today before the sun goes down. Thanks for playing, Mr. Tiny Barred Surf Perch. Oop. Did I get one? I think I got a really dinky one. Nice, another dinky barred surf perch. I feel like they're getting smaller and smaller as I catch them. What's funny is I haven't caught a barred surf perch for so long and I just caught three in a row within the past hour. Thanks for playing, dinky boy. Bye now. Lots of nibbles, lots of dinky boys. I do feel some good nibbles in the mix though. Next one also feels kind of dinky. Nice. At least there's a lot of these guys. Where are the bigger boys? All right, off you go. And this one's even smaller. I didn't even think there was anything. I was just slowly retrieving. I thought I got stuck in some seaweed. You know what? I'm just gonna measure this guy because I'm very curious how small he is. Looks like he's roughly about four inches. That's so funny. Thanks for playing, dinky boy. Wow. I think that's the fifth one I've caught and they're getting dinkier with every catch. All right, let's have a barred surf perch fun fact. So you know how certain fish can be found more common in certain regions, like cabazons are a little bit better in terms of fishing when you're doing it more in like NorCal? Well, barred surf perch are very common catch in the surf, but the unique thing about them is that they can be caught almost anywhere along the California coast. So if you're fishing down in San Diego, you might catch one. And if you're fishing all the way north, like the San Fran area, you might catch one there too. Looks like another dinky boy. Still a very beautiful fish though. 
I think Bart surf perch are really cool. I think we're only gonna catch really small fish today. I don't think there's any good keeper size one. Maybe the one that I first caught, but you know, gotta let that one go. I don't think there's any other fish out here today. I've already tried so many different baits earlier. I tried my usual shrimp, nothing. The only thing that's working is muscle, and the only thing that's biting are Bart surf perch. And they're all super tiny. The sun's starting to set. I don't think we're gonna catch a keeper surf perch today for the catch and cook. I'm not gonna give up yet, but time is not on my side right now. What's up? Oh, okay, got it. Well, guess it's time to go. They're gonna lock the gate, so I gotta get out of here. 